Hey man, I, I just witnessed something that I know the next 20 years of my life I remember just like it was yesterday. And that's the LeBron James press conference that he just gave. Big homie, I ain't never met your dad in my life. God knows I ain't. But for a person to be in your position, who financially straight for the not only the rest of your life, probably the next four of your lives, but to care that much about the people underneath you, bro. This ain't even about your championships, man. This ain't even about your, your arguably, arguably the best person to ever even pick up a basketball. But to risk it all, to not only stand for what you believe in, but to stand in the paint, in the trenches, on the front line for everybody underneath you. Bro, when I say I think from the bottom of my heart, and I salute you, man. Hey, listen, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I just got the phone with my auntie. She come calling me. Ah, oh, he getting on my nerve. He running my blood pressure up again. She talking about her son. He 34 years old. He go to jail, she go get him out. He go to jail, she go get him out. He go to jail, she go get him out. He stay with his girlfriend or whatever. They go to fight and she let him move back in her house. He go back over there, they go to fight again. She let him move back in her house. I say, man, listen. Auntie, I know that's your son and you love him to death. But all you doing is getting in God's way. God trying to motherfucking teach him something. And you come diving in God's way every time he trying to teach him something. You think you helping him, but you only hurting him. God trying to teach him something, man. Get out of God's way and let him do his thing. Damn. You know, she, ah, oh, that's my son, but I, that's my son. I'm supposed to be there. You supposed to be there. But you can get in God's way sometime. God will fuck around and punish you for keep getting in his way. Tell me. I'm in the hotel, man. I'm watching this CNN town hall. The patriotism, the players, and the president. You know, about the whole kneeling situation going on. This is what I'm trying to figure out. If you feel like when they play the national anthem, everybody should stand, then you stand. Stand. But don't get mad at somebody else if they don't feel how you feel. If you want to kneel, don't get mad at nobody else if they don't want to kneel. But the problem I got with it all is because you see something some kind of way, and if I don't see it how you see it, then there's something wrong with me. No! That's why we got different social security numbers. We ain't the same person. I don't have to do what you want me to do. It's just that simple, and you ain't got to do what I want you to do. Hey, listen, let me go and say this. I, I think some of y'all don't really understand this. But if we in a motherfucking relationship and we break up and go our separate ways, ain't no two, three weeks you hollering you to move on. Ain't no motherfucking move on. It don't work like that. We in a motherfucking relationship. It's just like the motherfucking NBA. You can't just get mad one day and say you want to go play for another team. It don't go like that. Kyrie couldn't do that. What he had to do. Sit his motherfucking ass down, both sides of what? Discuss a motherfucking trade. And that's what you got to do with me. We got to sit out and we got to discuss a motherfucking trade. You know? If you finna go somewhere else, I need something in return. You know? Ain't no motherfucking you just mad and now you just want to go play for another team. Ain't no motherfucking good. This shit just.